my candles lit today. Diana Brienne reminded me of that. Not that they're magical or anything, but just like a reminder that I'm praying about things. Um, I'm going to read this one today, and I am going to... It's kind of rainy now, but it was it snowed. I don't know if you can see it out there. Show you my view the window. Let's open this. Yeah, it's raining now. There's snow on the ground there. I have no makeup on because I'm hoping to be able to go swim. But I don't know because it says it's storming again. I'm not loving my stand, but I'm getting it to work. Anyways, it's, it's good enough, I guess. It's a $17 stand I got at Walmart. Okay, I'm going to read from this one. Letting God. But as the tax collector beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for every one who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Luke 18, 13, verse 13 and 14. Christ does not ask those of us who are trying to recover from our compulsions to wallow in remorse. But how can we reach out for help if we feel we, if we feel no need for forgiveness? To have no shame can mean we have become numb to the twinges of conscience within us. Jesus does not blame and condemn our shortcomings. However, he does want us to see and admit our character defects. Why? So they can be removed, of course. Our Lord wants us to feel our shame only long enough to get rid of it. We need to feel the burden before we can lay it down. That's how the tax collector Jesus used as an example of humility, got rid of his burden. His plea for mercy his, his pleas for mercy were, were heard. He went down to his home justified. He confessed he was forgiven. Some of us, however, imagine guilt where there is none, becoming addicted or bald, having asthma or diabetes, not being pretty or rich are not occasions for guilt. The way we were created is not our fault. We are responsible for our actions that we actually did. Lying, cheating, stealing, hurting others. That's where guilt belongs. Shame makes a proper fit. Then we can humbly admit that we have done what we have done and take the humble and cleansing step that remove the guilt and erase the shame. The Talmud says a sense of shame is a lovely thing in a man. Whoever has a sense of shame will not sin so quickly, but whoever shows no sense of shame in his face, his father surely never stood on Mount Sinai. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what that quote means, the latter part of it. Um, Mount Sinai is where Moses got the Ten Commandments. And... Moses is called our father. And so, I guess if you don't realize, and like, every one of us has broken the Ten Commandments. I mean, some people think they haven't, but even it says, don't covet in the Ten Commandments. <laughs> and who hasn't put, like, have no other gods before him? Who hasn't put something else before God? That's very easy to do. Um, 
I've done that. The prayer is, soften my heart, Lord. Deliver me from callous pride. Lead me to love you enough to admit my guilt, feel my shame, and then find your forgiveness. Amen. And I was listening to Joyce Meyer today talk about guilt, and she says, you know, um, about some some people, you know, can't forgive themselves and holding on to the guilt and how um, damaging it is. And um, but you know, worse than that is to have a seared conscience and not feel guilt. I mean, because those people are. just there's less hope for them I mean um, but yeah there has to be a balance and we have to learn to forgive ourselves and um, receive that's what Joyce Meyer was talking about receive God's you know allow him to forgive you and don't keep holding on to it because it really hinders you, you know, if you just think I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad, you're going to keep on um, doing that. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, and it's like, you know, a lot of times she talks, Joyce talks about, you, you know, you have what you keep saying, and you keep focusing on, and if you think, you know, oh, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad, you're going to keep being bad. <laughs> But Christ offers us the forgiveness, and we should receive it. Have a good day. Love you. Bye.